very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabib. Now, before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. Prime Minister stresses the need to give enhanced parliamentary power to the government. A case of misuse of funds by the cricket officials has been revealed at the COPE committee. Authorities' failure of a 2016 letter warning of future terrorists in Sri Lanka revealed. Top Navy official of Japan and Sri Lanka hold discussions to enhance naval cooperation. 16 new reported coronavirus cases spark fear in North Italy. In our lead story, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha says that people should give a majority of power in Parliament to the government to entertain benefits of electing a new president. Prime Minister made this request participating in a function at Haris Pathua area. The new building of the Haris Pathua Pradeshya Sabha was vested with the public by the Prime Minister. This new building will provide more facilities to the people in the area. <laughs> Prime Minister says that if the government has parliamentary power as well, then it will be easy to provide wider service to the country. In the past period, there was a rift between the president and the parliament, which causes delay in implementing development projects. It has been revealed that a 50 million rupee grant in connection with a block of land taken by the Malvatu Vihara to construct a cricket university has not been handed over to the Malvatu Mahanayaka Thera. This was revealed when the executive officers of the Sri Lanka cricket made statements to the COP committee. <laughs> Chairman of the COPE committee, Sunil Handunnethi, said that the Mahanaya Kathera has informed only about a donation of 25 million rupees. But the executive committee of the Sri Lanka Cricket has allocated 50 million rupees of donation in this regard. It is clear that cricket officials have misused the balance of the donation. In more news at home, it was revealed before the Presidential Commission of Inquiry probing the Easter Sunday attacks that uh, back in 2016, a letter from Turkey had notified the Foreign Ministry of the presence of fatal terrorists in Sri Lanka. Acting Deputy Directors of the Counter-Terrorism Unit at the Ministry, Mahesha Bharati Jawadana, and Acting Additional Secretary of Law and Order Unit at the Minister of Defence, Malika Srimati Piris, recorded statements before the panel yesterday. The attention of the Presidential Commission was centred on the 121-paged letter sent by the Turkish Ambassador to Sri Lanka on the 24th of August 2016, noting that a group of individuals belonging to Turkish terror group FETO arriving in Sri Lanka. The Japanese Navy vessel attack an army arrived at the port of Colombo yesterday. The Navy stated that they have welcomed the ship which arrived with the aim of enhancing cooperation between the two countries. Western Naval Commander Rear Admiral Sumit Veera Singha warmly welcomed the crew of the Japanese vessel. Meanwhile, new defense advisor of the Chinese Embassy in Sri Lanka, Senior Colonel Van Dong, joined a tour in Eastern Naval Command. He also discussed several important issues with the Eastern Naval Commander Rear Admiral Meryl Vikrama Singha. Meanwhile, passing parade of the 41st Basic Parachute Course of the Sri Lanka Air Force was held at the Ampara Air Force Training School under the patronage of Air Force Commander Air Marshal Sumangala Dias. 89 Air Force Parachute Officers passed out at this event. In more local news, Thangala lifesavers were able to save the life of an English national. The 71-year-old was sea bathing in Tangala Madilla Beach. The accident is reported to have occurred due to the lack of knowledge of rough sea. The lifesavers advise the public to be cautious with sea this season as the adverse weather continues. And I'm very happy for the police and the lifesavers to do the job that they do, which is very important. And now the very latest in the sports arena. 
Former FIFA General Secretary Jerome Walk and the chairman of the BIN Media Group, Nasser Al Khalifi, have been charged in connection with the award of media rights to various World Cup and Confederations Cup tournaments. Walk was charged with accepting bribes, several counts of aggravated criminal mismanagement and falsification of documents, the OAG said in a statement. Al Khalifi and a third person, an unnamed businessman, were charged with inciting Walk to commit aggravated criminal mismanagement. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. A very great day and take care.